Welcome once more, ladies and gentlemen, to yet another edition of Ask Oki. Today, we are going to talk about casual wear. More specifically, we're going to talk about how to combine your Ask Oki trousers with various individual pieces of casual jackets. In our last edition, we looked at sport jackets or tailored jackets and how to mix and match them with your Ask Oki trousers. Today, we're going to focus exclusively on casual tops or casual jackets and how to get the most use out of your Ask Oki casual trousers. And so without further ado, let's get to it. We're going to break this presentation up into several sections. First of all, we're going to talk about why one needs a casual wardrobe. We're going to look at an elegant casual versus sort of a work country casual wardrobe. And then we're going to look at individual coats and jackets and all the elements that comprise a casual wardrobe. We're going to talk about how to combine them, where to wear them, high-low dressing, balance and silhouette, and color, of course. And then in conclusion, we're going to wrap up with a recapitulation of everything we've learned and then talk about the genie and how the genie can be applied as a tool to build your casual wardrobe. Let's get to it. Now, what do I have on? I have on a pair of Askoki Cavalry Tool flat front trousers, the ultimate casual pair of trousers, well, casual dress pair of trousers. And the idea is to learn how to combine these tailored Askoki pieces with different tops. I have a very, very simple t-shirt underneath and a suede leather biker jacket. It's a very casual top, yet what I've done is that I've done a high-low combination. This is a dressy pair of trousers and I've combined it with a rather casual top. And so you get that nice balanced look, a high-low look. You could also opt to do something different, say for instance, wear this with a full length coat and I'll demonstrate with each of these jackets how they can and should be worn. But before we get to that, I want to look at a very, very similar piece. Another suede jacket, slightly more dressy than what I have on, but also goes impeccably well with a pair of Asco key trousers. And so let's try this on for size. I'm going to take this off. this up here and what I'm gonna do is put this on and voila you have a very different look, slightly more sophisticated. Yet very casual. It's a similar suede jacket, but this is more of a dressy look. It's a, it's a much more dressy, it's a, it's a more elegant dressy look. That's a lot more casual than the look I, I came on stage with. And the idea is to play around with different casual tops with our Asko key trousers to achieve the look you want to achieve, depending, of course, on the occasion. So that's a bomber jacket, a suede bomber jacket. It's casual, but very elegant, caught a bit fuller. And so it goes with the full cut trousers, and you have a very, very, very beautiful uniform look. Now, let's try something a little bit different. Take this off. This is a full length coat. It's a full length coat, something one might wear. It's not very heavy in the fall. 
put this on. And there you have it. It's a belt head coat. You can just tie it off that way. And you have a very, very simple look with your Askoki trousers. Very simple, casual, yet elegant. Certainly more dressy than the, uh, than the motorcycle jacket we had on and more dressy than the suede bomber jacket. So this goes one level higher in terms of dressiness. In terms of long coats, you could also do something very similar. Just another look at the ensemble. You could do something very, very similar with a Macintosh or a raincoat. Assuming you have some precipitation or rain, you could wear something like this over your Askoki trousers. Again, a very simple look. You button it up. And then you cinch it in the waist. There you have it. Again, a very classic and elegant look with your Askoki trousers. The whole point is you don't need a tailored jacket. You don't need a tailored jacket to wear Askoki trousers. The idea behind our trousers, trousers is to offer you as much versatility as possible, combining them with either tailored jackets or very, very casual jackets. Let's try another combination. Put this back here. This is a very common Harrington jacket. It's called a Harrington jacket. It's uh, very classic, has been worn for many decades. And just a very simple jacket you could wear for an evening walk. Zip this up. And there you have it. Again, a very seamless look. Very seamless look. Classic, elegant, clean lines, yet not stuffy. Now, why are we doing this? As many know, we're moving from an age of tailored clothing, or more specifically suits, to more casual outfits. Uh, a lot of workplaces have done away with suits. And so gentlemen generally, or ladies and gentlemen, everyone uh, are left with the question, what should I wear and how can I maintain that elegant look without descending to streetwear, uh, also known as sneakers and sweatpants? And what we're aiming to do with this video is to show you how you can combine your, your tailored trousers, your Askoki tailored trousers, with different casual pieces without losing any of the elegance that a typical suit or tailored uh, outfit offers. So that's the Harrington jacket. We're going to look at something else. Now, if you notice, we're moving further and further along the line of formality. So these jackets I've tried on, they're all sort of a bit more dressy. And now we're going to look at more casual jackets, 
uh, things that are a bit more rustic, a bit more rustic or country, if you prefer. Now, here is a suede motorcycle jacket. This is just a very, very simple jacket. Many would wear this with jeans or denim, but they can also be dressed up in a high-low fashion with your Askoki trousers. So there you have it. A simple suede motorcycle jacket. A lot less complicated than the first one I had on. This is just something very simple you can just throw on for an evening walk again or for uh, a dinner date. So there you have it. That's a simple motorcycle jacket. We're going to step again a bit for, further down in formality. Put this back. Now we're going to look at a field jacket, a typical field jacket, which is as casual as they come. This is something you might wear for a walk in the woods, walking your dog. It's made of cotton. It's very comfortable. I'll open this up a little bit. It's made of cotton, very comfortable. You can put your items in the pocket, yet it looks superbly or supremely elegant when combined with your Askoki casual trousers. And so that's a field jacket in navy. Uh, there's another one in olive. And so I would recommend, uh, this is a staple, this is certainly a wardrobe staple. And so I would recommend either a navy or an olive, or if you can afford both, you could have two. Uh, these are made by, very, by various brands and, and prices range anywhere from you know, top to bottom. So it's really your prerogative. But the idea is it's a simple field jacket and it combines very well with a pair of flat front Askoki trousers. Let's keep moving. Now, this is where we get really casual. This is where we get really casual and really sporty. This is a type three denim jacket. This is as old as uh, the heels. Uh, but again, this is something that you might find worn uh, more often with denim or khakis or very casual uh, trousers or cargo pants. But they can also be dressed up can also be dressed up with your Askoki trousers and just worn openly, or you could button them, but it just looks just as, 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 as sublime, worn open with a t-shirt underneath or a roll neck, and with your Askoki flat front trousers. Just beautiful. It's a type three denim jacket. Another example of a Type 3 jacket in corduroy. Here is a Type 3 jacket, very similar to the one we had on, but in corduroy. which is made from cotton, by the way. And so there we have it. Again, a very, very casual look, yet elegant. It seems very on thought. It's something just seems like something you threw on. Um, the whole idea, again, is just you want to look smartly turned out, but uh, casual suggests that it's something you didn't put that much thought into. So this is what you have here. It's just sort of a simple pair of Askoki trousers, flat front trousers, a very simple t-shirt, and just a tie three jacket over it, and you're good to go.
And if, of course, if you're the hat wearing type, you could toss on uh, a Baker Boy hat or any other hat of your choice and you just look uh, supremely elegant. So that's it for the various jacket types we have on here. Of course, there are other jacket types you may prefer. There's the chore coat, uh, there are shirt jackets, and so on and so forth. Uh, but we're constrained for space, obviously, and my budget, obviously, is constrained as well. So I, I don't have every type of uh, casual jacket out there. But what we've tried to do is to illustrate uh, using various types of jackets, how one might wear your Askoki trousers and still maintain a certain degree of elegance, even with a casual top. So let's talk a little bit more about how to combine them. Or color, to be more specific. Um, this is all going to come down to taste, and it's going to come down to preference. But you will observe that a lot of the colors I've chosen here are earth tones. So the browns, uh, you know, navies and, and, and very base colors, grays. Uh, the idea when building a wardrobe is you want to maintain uniformity. And so you want to, you want to stick to basic colors and not wild colors that are going to prove very, very difficult to pair. And so you have a pair of Askoki trousers in tan, cavalry. Uh, twill tan, which is a very universal color. So this is a pair of trousers, or this is a color that would take literally every jacket or any jacket you throw at it. This would be your equivalent of your gray flannels or your gray trousers in the dress category or in the tailored category. So you have to, one has to keep in mind when putting together your casual ensemble is to focus at least initially on core colors, you want to focus on the core colors, earth tones, to make sure you can get the most out of your Askoki trousers. Now, we talked about high-low dressing earlier on. Again, what is high-low dressing? High-low dressing is the ability to express or to convey, I suppose, what the French would call the gage. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. Or the Italians would say spezzatura. Uh, and the whole idea is to appear, um, appear well-dressed, but not uh, fussy. And so you want to look like you're well-dressed, but you don't want to look like you put too much effort or too much time into putting yourself together. And how do you achieve this? You achieve this by high-low dressing. Uh, what is high-low dressing? So say, for instance, we have a tailored pair of trousers, very smart, elegant. But casual, of course, they are flat front. And when you combine them with, say, a very casual jacket, such as we had earlier on today, this is sort of a very casual top, and this is somewhat dressy pair of trousers. So it gives you that high-low combination. The same trouser, obviously, can be worn with a tailored jacket, and that will be very, very dressy. That would seem a bit more... Um, prepared. However, what a casual jacket does for you is that it gives you, it, it, you, you are able to maintain that elegance without seeming overly prepared. And that is the whole idea behind uh, high-low dressing. Now, what have we learned today? Put this back on. We've learned how to combine our Askoki trousers with various casual jackets. Now, one might ask, well, what do you do for footwear then? As a rule of thumb, with footwear, you want to focus on, well, casual footwear. You want to focus on derbies. You want to focus on boots and loafers. Well, sneakers are another affair, and we'll leave that aside for now, but we're talking about elegant footwear. So over here, we also have different types of footwear boots that you might wear. wear with this. On this side, we have boots. We have here a pair of Chelsea boots. Beautiful Chelsea boots that would go just as well with the ensemble I have on. Just to close up here. These are beautiful Chelsea boots. They're casual. They go really well 
with your cavalry twill trousers, and they would work with any of these jackets. Next, you have your dress boots or your lace-up boots. Again, this is something slightly more dressy, but also it goes exceedingly well. It would pair very well with the outfit I have on. Again, a closer look. It's a dress boot in dark brown. And taking it a notch lower, a lot more casual, are your ankle boots or your chuka boots, some would call them. This is a quintessential casual boot. It goes with everything. You could wear it with your denim. You could wear it with these Asco Key casual, casual, uh, Cavalry Twill Trousers. Uh, you could wear them with flannels. They're just the ultimate casual pair of boots, uh, ankle boots or chuka boots in dark brown suede. And then you also have grain boots. These are, again, a, a pair of grain boots. These are a lot more casual than what we've looked at. Um, it's welted, as you can see, in a light thread, which means it's casual. And the color also. It's a bit lighter, which means it should be worn, first of all, with light trousers. You don't wear light shoes or light pair of shoes with dark trousers. So this is a very casual pair of boots that can go with any of these jackets as well. Now, let's turn to derbies or bluchers. On this side, we have some derbies, a couple of derbies and a couple of loafers. This is a standard capto derby. It's a standard capto derby, which would fit just perfectly with the same outfit I have on. The idea is to make sure it's casual, in, as in the texture of the leather. It can be too smooth, because that means it's, a, it's more dressy. And so when you're picking out your derby or your casual derbies, uh, it, it's good to have some kind of texture to the leather. It could be grain leather, uh, it could be any number of, uh, uh, it could be suede, but it has to have some kind of texture to it which denotes it as a casual uh, pair of footwear. Second pair of derbies we have here, again, similarly, it's a grain derby. Split toe derby, grain in dark brown. Again, I like to keep the shoes very dark brown, which ensures that they're versatile and they take any number of trousers. And then we look at loafers. This is a simple penny loafer. Again, this is something you could throw on. You could wear them with uh, Asco Key flat from trousers, uh, they could take, well, this is more of a summer shoe and we're in the fall at the moment, we're in the winter. And so I haven't really put out a summer wardrobe. This is a winter fall wardrobe. And so the loafers are merely for illustrative purposes. But the point is that uh, these loafers or penny loafers are also very appropriate to wear with your Askoki casual trousers. And last, of course, but not the least, are your suede tassel loafers. Again, this is something that would go really well with what I have on. However, just like the penny loafer, this is a summer shoe. Uh, loafers are summer shoes, and so this I would wear exclusively during the summertime. But the point being that uh, they are a casual pair of shoes. You can see the texture. It's suede, and it picks up the suede in the jacket. And, uh, you know, the suede gives it sort of that casual vibe. And so that's it for the footwear. And so we've learned about the different types of shoes or footwear that one might wear with a casual outfit like this, which I have on. Uh, we've learned about the different types of jackets. We've learned about the colors and how to combine them. Most importantly, what we want to communicate through this video or through this tutorial is how to get the most out of your Askoki trousers. There is this misconception that tailored trousers can only be paired with tailored jackets. Now, we know tailored jackets can be quite expensive, and one might have to save up for one. However, trousers are more affordable, and uh, quite frankly, their utility is higher, or the utility factor is higher. 
And so you get a lot more value. You can get a lot of value out of your ASCO key trousers. And the trick is to figure out how to optimize or how to maximize the use of those trousers. And so we've shown you in these videos how uh, even if you cannot uh, yet uh, do an ASCO key jacket, you can still get the trousers. You can have the trousers made. And if you're very thoughtful about selecting the trousers, uh, you can combine them with any number of these jackets. I've put aside here a number of ASCO key trousers that can be worn casually. This is very similar to what I have on. It's a pair of cavalry twill trousers, ASCO key. This is a pair of dark brown corduroy trousers. Just a bit of a close up here. Dark brown corduroy trousers, again, ASCO key, flat front trousers, very casual. Here we have a pair of cavalry twill trousers in olive, it's very similar to what I have on. Exact same pair of trousers, but in olive. Again, a nice casual color that will work with basically every jacket we've looked at. Or, or, or top we've looked at on here. We move on to something a little bit more dressy. Your cricket flannel, of course. This is your Askoki cricket flannel. Again, it's something you could wear with any number of these outfits and still maintain that elegance while being casual. Of course, we have our dark brown flannel, very dark brown flannel. Again, ASCO keys. This will take any number of these jackets. It's a dressy pair of trousers, but it's something that could be dressed down by tossing a casual coat atop it. And so on and so forth. Uh, this is a bit more dressy. It's sort of a houndstooth pair of ASCO key trousers. This is a bit more dressy, and uh, I just put it out here for illustrative purposes, but I probably wouldn't wear this with any of these jackets because it's just a little bit too dressy. Uh, the fabric is just too fine, and so it would probably be better worn with a navy jacket, a navy tailored jacket, or something uh, similar. And so, Ladies and gentlemen, that's about it for today's presentation. Again, to summarize, we talked about why you need a casual wardrobe, changing trends, offices, workplaces, business places are moving very gradually away from the suit culture more to a dress down, not slovenly, not slovenly or not slubbish, but sort of more of a dress down uh, culture. And so the trick is always, uh, to find the fine medium uh, to maintain that elegance without uh, resorting to slob wear, as I like to call it. And that's what we've been able to do in this video, is to show you how to combine our trousers with any number of tops, different color combinations, and of course the footwear that go with these trousers. Finally, before we close this segment, we want to talk about our wardrobe tool genie which we discussed in a prior segment. Genie is a software-driven tool that allows you to very thoughtfully and methodically build your casual wardrobe. There, we've broken it down into various segments. All the items you see here on this wardrobe are registered in the Genie. And so you set up your account in the Ask Oki Genie, and you can start to build and add these items to your wardrobe or your manifest over time. A very solid foundational wardrobe is built over time. Uh, it's not something to be rushed, but the idea is to have a plan and to have a destination. And so that is what Genie does for you is that what Genie does, Genie contains all the elements we've discussed about today or we've talked about today, and it allows you to plan your journey and you can start to add these pieces very gradually to your wardrobe starting with your Askoki trousers, perhaps our Askoki jacket, and then you can pick up 
individual casual pieces along the way to complement these ASCO key trousers and to get the most out of them. And so with that, I would like to thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us once more for another edition of ASCO Key, and I'll see you on the next edition. Thank you. <music>